going on cancer i hope you're doing super well this is the autistic mystic and this is going to be a reading for may 30th to june 5th 2022 so in this reading cancer we're going to take a look at your overall general energy some things you do not see coming and also get some advice from your angels and spirit guides regarding may 30th to june 5th 2022 but before we get into it cancer as always i want to let you know that you are super welcome here in this space with me as we go through this reading. I really do appreciate you in advance for taking the time to check this reading out. And if you feel that this reading resonates with you, definitely smash that like button, subscribe. If you have not already for future updates, that'd be greatly appreciated over here, Cancer. Uh, one quick announcement as well, before we get into the, re into the reading, <laughs> there's been about, let's just say there's a lot of people who have booked in in the last 48 hours for the same day personal readings with me. And I really pride myself on doing the, the personal readings quality. And so I usually have a 24 hour return time. I'm gonna have to make that 48 hours. So if this reading resonates with you and you want to book in a reading, go ahead and do it, Cancer. The link is in the description, but just understand, I'm not gonna be able to get it to you in 24 hours because there's literally been like 40 people. I've never had this many people book in and I really am like figuring it out. Like what am I gonna do with this issue? Um, but you know everyone else if you've already booked in you're already good but just going forward i just want to let you guys know that okay but it's going to go back to normal i believe but uh yeah so that's the situation you know i'm just going to be honest so let's go ahead cancer and uh see what wants to come through for you for may 30th to june 5th 2022. as always i would like to thank the angels the interdimensional beings and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for cancer. Still dealing with that choice in love, huh, Cancer? We'll see. Maybe career. That's who we got here, Cancer, for you. All right, all right, all right. All right, Cancer. Um, okay, yeah, I mean, I think there's a lot of ways I'm getting for you to, for you to definitely improve your financial game here. There's gonna be an opportunity for it for, and also your independence and like loving yourself here, because I feel like there's, let me show you the cards first, okay? So in your opportunity, Cancer, for uh, the 30th to the 5th of June. You have the nine of pentacles here. The nine of pentacles is self-sufficient energy. I feel like there's an energy of career advancement for you for the 30th to the 5th. I also feel there's an energy of maybe pulling your pulling your energy back um, from all the love offers that you're getting. I feel like you've maybe, for the last few weeks, it felt like you were like in a whirlwind of choosing between a past person and a new soulmate coming in. I almost get, you know, your challenge here is the two of uh, swords. You know, so basically what I feel here is there's a challenge of kind of like icing certain people out or kind of pulling your energy back, you know, because your opportunity is the nine of pentacles. Um, your challenge is the two of swords. So what I would say here is opportunity, nine of pentacles, challenge, two of swords. It's kind of all about you here. Your challenge as well is that you... <laughs> Basically, you're, I think there could be a challenge of not really seeing potential financial avenues for you. So whether you're already working a career, this could be, um, this could be you getting a promotion that maybe you're just not really seeing the opportunity. Also, if you're like looking to become more self-sufficient financially, your challenge is maybe that you're just not open to the certain possibilities of doing that. It reminds me of a time when, um, 
when I, I was kind of advancing my spiritual career and I had a certain set way that I thought it was all gonna happen. You know, I had a certain goal at a certain set way that I thought it was gonna happen. And um, I was therefore closing off all the other possibilities. Like basically, it's like you're, basically what I feel for you is you're on like, picture like you're throwing a ball, like you're throwing one ball at the universe instead of throwing five. And maybe if you throw five, it's like one of them will be a home run. Does that make sense? Um, I think we're gonna have to clarify to get more information. But Cancer, you have the, in your overall general energy from the 30th to the 5th, you have the Two of Pentacles, you have the Knight of Wands, and you also have the Ten of Wands here. I'm getting there's this energy here where no matter what you're doing in career, I do feel like you're gonna switch it up. I feel like there's an element of like, maybe you stay wherever you are, but like you're working on that side business on the side here, because Spirit is definitely calling you to do that. Ace of Pentacles, there is a theme of money in this reading. Also a theme of maybe pulling your energy back from love into focusing on your career, like developing yourself so that you can then attract a higher quality partner. There's also this feeling of too much energy coming at you and you're like, well, I want to go, like, I think I'm having fun with this energy coming at me, but it's a very intense and it's, it's almost like, you know, what do you, what do you need to let go of here is the question you're going to be asking yourself from the, um, from the 30th to the 5th here. I get that there's a lot of, um, you know, the Knight of Wands as well is an energy of, um, it's an energy of manifestation. You know, it's an energy of, of really going for something that you want. So what I do sense here, Cancer, your opportunity is to kind of set your sights on a goal of financial freedom. But I feel that the particular way, the particular path to that is unclear to you. And it may require a little bit of experimentation and kind of putting your ego on the, on the, on, on the side, you know? So it's like, for me, it's like, you know, not, not, not enough about me, <laughs> but basically the Knight of Wands to the Two of Pentacles here. Also for some of you here, you're going to be deciding, okay, you're going to be, instead of like going into 10 different things, you're going to finally commit yourself to one path, but there's also a risk in doing that because what I just told you about, like all the possibilities could actually help you. For others of you though, Cancer, this is about too much love coming at you and you're kind of just sick of it and you're kind of just like, I need to go into the unknown. I need to pull my energy back from love tame my ego down and heal my energy, then move forward. That's what I'm getting for you. It's like all of this whirlwind of love, you're almost just like, I don't even give a shit anymore. It's like, not that forever, but it's like you're, you're basically like, no, I'm unavailable right now, like basically. And I think that's in alignment for you because you have to make a decision about love, but it's so much right now that I think you're a little bit clouded. Now you have in your, uh, what you don't see coming, very powerful. You have clarity coming your way. You have the strength card, you have the ace of swords, you have the chariot. I feel like this is you finally admitting what you really want and maybe putting your ego to the side and, and making it happen here. The ace of swords is mental clarity. The chariot is movement, utilizing technology here, knowing when to push forward and move back. So I do feel like there's a mental clarity here that you need to, you need to pull your energy back, kind of go into a, a hermit mode of not really being a complete hermit is what I'm getting here because there needs to be a healing. There also might need to be a renewal uh, for especially, this is not obviously going to be for all of you cancers. For some of you though, I do feel like you've been overboarding it in terms of the the partners. Maybe you've been intimate with like too, too many people recently and you're just like, ah, oh, I need to heal myself right now. Fuck love. I don't want to be dependent on it, on anyone. I want to like, I want to really focus um I want to really focus on this. And I've been studying about cancer recently because I feel like I've been getting a little bit single-minded and, and like, oh, cancers are all sensitive. And you are. Your sensitivity is your superpower cancer. But I also started to realize like all these massive business owners, they're all cancers. They're all cancers. So cancer, you have this ability to just like go from like rags to riches. And I'm not saying you're, that you're even completely in rags, but you're going to the riches right now. The advice from your spirit guides, you have the star, you have the moon, you also have the ace of pentacles here. Once again, it's you need to go into the unknown and maybe like less stimulation. I'm, a, I'm, I'm getting dopamine detox. You know, maybe stop scrolling through your phone, I think would help you. Um, and really go out into nature and heal yourself. And that's how, you know, it's almost like, to be honest, like so before I started the autistic mystic, I was in nature a lot. I was off the phone. You know, it, it, it was something where I really had to say, I'm going to commit to this thing, but you need to unplug in order to do that. 
Um, also maybe doing a few things at once, right? Your overall general energy, maybe you start two different things at once. There is kind of a risk in that though, where you spread your energy too thin. So it's a lot going on for you, Cancer, a lot going on. I just sense like, I sense you're, I, I sense you're like done with love, at least for this week. Remember, this is a weekly reading, Cancer. So in June, I'm sure it's gonna be different. I'm sure shit's gonna be popping off for you, but it's just like the energy that I sense is you're gonna be like, can't keep doing this anymore, can't can't keep doing it but your challenge is the two of swords so i feel like there's gonna be like almost like this like devilish temptation from the knight of wands here um ten of wands in love but in terms of career as well like there's just this feeling of maybe you haven't found your target lifeline and that's okay like i, I mean for me for the longest time no one was listening to me. I was struggling and you just have to find it through experimentation sometimes about what it is you're really here to do on the planet. So this is what I sense. I know this is resonating for a lot of you cancers out there. Let's go ahead and clarify why the nine of pentacles is here in your opportunity. You know, I just get this like feeling of, oh, it's like overwhelmed and uh, it's time for you to take your energy back, purify it, clear it. Even if that means going into the unknown, even if that means passing up on certain opportunities, um, also pulling your energy back, focusing on your career. Like, so I'm not saying that you have to just go and be like Eckhart Tolle and do, and be present and, and experiencing that bris of that prana, that presence is joyful, right? But it's also like, I, I, there's a, there's a deep focus on your career and there's like, almost like no more wasting my time, like focusing on my career, focusing on your career cancer is going to be a point of focus for you. So let's go ahead and see though, why is the nine of pentacles here in uh, your opportunity? Why is the nine of pentacles here in your opportunity? Yeah. Okay, so the nine of pentacles here is clarified by the emperor here. I do see you, once again, maybe pulling your energy back from all these knight of wands, ten of wands, kind of like love interest, and really like pulling in a higher quality partner, but I feel like the way that you do that is working on your career, also working on loving yourself. So the emperor to the nine of pentacles, this is like, especially for you ladies out there, you're going to be using the masculine quality of the emperor, discipline, self-awareness, being stern, uh, in order to really advance your career, in order or in order to also have the masculine discipline, discipline to like pull back you know, because the, the emperor is not just like the king of wands or the king of pentacles, very sensual. It's the king of cups. It's the king of swords as well. So there's this there's this energy of uh, maybe even pulling your energy back from an emperor. Like if you already happen to be married, Cancer, it's like, hey, look at me. I'm beautiful Cancer over here. And it's not even because you're trying to be seductive. It's not even because you're trying to really pull someone in. It's for you. It's beauty. It's like beauty time for Cancer for the 30th to the 5th is what I'm sensing. Um, and basically maybe questioning like, why have I been living this way? What am I trying? I basically sense that you may have been in a state of constant external doing in order to maybe escape a deep feeling down, maybe escape a deep feeling. And that's what's coming up. Maybe the two of swords for some of you I'm picking up on cancer is that you start to realize like, what am I? What am I unaware of, right? So you're, you're, you're doing the work here. The hardest work that you'll ever do is working on yourself. I hope you realize that, right? Like people don't understand, like it's super, you can go out and support a cause. You can go out and think you're changing the world. You're not gonna change the world unless you change yourself or unless you become more self-aware. And that's the hardest work that you will ever do, right? You can go, um, and there's no shade on this. This is what you do. You can go like feed the children in some sort of country, but it's like, and maybe that's your life mission and that's beautiful. And we, we need more people to do that. I'm not saying we don't need that. We really do. Um, but it's like people can sometimes use, I'm not saying this exact frequency, but just take it as a nuance, use some sort of external cause to escape self-awareness and the deep work and pulling your energy back and just going within and like, you know, yeah. Um, let's go ahead also and see why the strength card is here in your, uh, what you don't see coming. Yeah, the strength card is clarified by the 10 of cups here. So I do feel like there's this feeling of taming down the ego and, and being ready for the higher quality relationship, but it starts with you. It starts with like, 
it starts with purifying your energy and like having the strength to wait for something worthwhile instead of just going out with all of these basically knight of wands types energies for you cancer right like 10 of cups here in the strength card you also may have to have strength to keep if you're if you're already because you have the emperor to the nine of pentacles you may be dealing with a difficult family situation here a soul family and in relation no matter who you are whether this is your parents and your younger or your children and your older there's something to be said about taming down your ego for the sake of a family unit, a family unit. And part of what this is going to be is because once you start to work on yourself and you start to pull your energy back, I feel like people around you, Cancer, might be um, suspicious of you, right? They might be like, well, why did your behavior change, Cancer? I thought this was who you were. And so there's something to be said about that. You know, that's what I feel here for you, Cancer. Let's also go ahead and clarify why this chariot is here. Uh, and Because the chariot, you have to realize, the chariot is about speed, it's about movement, technology. But it, one of the meanings is about knowing when to push forward. Like the chariot can turn on a dime. It can go in reverse. It can go all these different areas. So I kind of feel like there's the Ace of Swords strength chariot. In this particular case, because of the surrounding cards, the chariot is almost a turning inward. It's almost a speed word into yourself or a speed word into reverse or just maybe away from anything that doesn't serve you. What's the chariot here? Yeah, so it's renewal, going into the unknown and, and working on your business finance. I mean, that's really what's coming up for you. Pulling your way from any sort of immature energy. If there's any sort of immature energy, you're gonna have to be strong. You're also gonna have to pull away from it. So making a sacrifice, like doing something from the 30th to the 5th that your future self will thank you for instead of just instant gratification. Like I said, dopamine detox, something like that. Yeah, the chariot is clarified by the three of wands here. So um, optimism about the future, like moving towards a vision that's really worth it. Also the strength here to the 10 of cups here, Cancer, is like having the strength once again, like all this energy, all this energy is like I keep saying, taming down the ego, not just going with, oh, the Knight of Wands every weekend, and I'm not saying that's all of you, but it can manifest in any sort of way that resonates. Um, this is what I sense here for you, Cancer. So if you want more information on this, Cancer, you're gonna have to book a personal reading with me. Like I said, for the same day personal readings, right now, if you book in, you gotta give me 48 hours to get it back to you because like I said, I pride myself on quality and I'm not here to just get do as many readings as I can. So um, I'm just being honest with you. 48 hours right now, we'll see what this what what I'm going to do with this in the future if it continues to be like this. But thank you so much because as the channel grows, so does everything. So it's like I have to figure it out. So but thank you, Cancer.